Hey you guys, it's Lisa from Lisa Loves Leather. Today I'm going to show you my international backpack collection. It's not big and there's only one item that is leather, but I'm gonna go through and show you my favorites, okay? So they're down here by my feet. The first one I'll show you is leather. It is this beautiful backpack from Paraguay, which is in South America. And I absolutely love it. You can see it is tooled on there and I just think it's so beautiful. There's just like some ferns going up along and sometimes I feel like I could almost see the Blessed Mother in the center there. Um, but yeah, this beautiful backpack um, is from Paraguay. I actually found it on Poshmark and I think it was like $30, I got it a couple years ago. And right now I'm using it as a diaper bag um, for my son, I just think it's so cute. Um, you know, these are like loosely tied and that prevents it from pulling through. And it's just very well constructed and looks like it has had no real wear at all on it. It's got just a couple scratches, but I just think it's beautiful and there is no brand name on the bag but when i saw it i just couldn't resist now the way i organize my handbags is um, and backpacks is i always put a little information card in every single one to remind myself when i bought it how much it was um and and stuff like that so this is a chocolate brown leather backpack made in paraguay with engravings in the leather it's called tooled leather when you see this type of engraving and yeah i got it in, from poshmark in august of 2019 for 30 dollars. and at that time shipping was 4.99 so not too bad so that is my first piece in my international backpack collection it is um it is fully lined as you can see in there and i also have like i said my diaper um diaper bag contents but um Oh, and it has um, a nice little snap here too. So if you recognize this in any capacity um, and you would know the brand, please comment down below because I would love to know the brand, but it is, it is unmarked. So I would think that it's probably, um, you know, a local craftsman kind of, kind of thing and not a big brand, but so glad to have that in my collection. This brand you might be familiar with, the Falraven Kenken. It's from um, Sweden. They are over 60 years old, which is incredible, this, this brand. Um, and they're just the cutest backpacks. Um, I always try to keep information, like I said, inside about my purchase, just so I can remember, I'm sentimental like that. And this is the card I kept. <laughs> so it is um, frost green is the color and this is the can can original and i just think it's a great backpack it's very roomy and it has a nice big zip which really opens it up all the way for anything that you might have to store in here and it's got a padded back so that your back doesn't get hurt and this is a great place for a laptop um so this has been awesome if I just need to you know take a binder with me and my laptop and go to the library to do work or whatever it is and I love love this color um, and the one thing you may notice about the fall even cankins if I'm saying this right I'm not sure um, you may notice that they wear beautifully over time when these get used and I don't know, they just wear really nice. The way the fabric is dyed, it wears in this excellent way. And they always get these like lovely wrinkles that end up like creating discoloration in the fabric as it fades from the sun and from wear, and it's fantastic. So mine I haven't used very much, but I have spotted some people wearing theirs and I see wear on it and it just looks even nicer. So I feel like this is just going to look better as the years go on. So I loved this piece so much that I had to get another one. So this is the smaller version. I guess it's like the mini whatever. And um, this is in the color Acorn, which I also thought was just absolutely lovely. Um, I think these were originally marketed to school children, 
but they have just really become popular in the last couple of years. So anyway, there it is. It says 1978 we launched. Interesting. I would say though, when I researched the company, um, the first prototype, which was a backpack, was made in 1960. So maybe the company didn't become official until 1978, but they've been making backpacks, or at least the original guy that designed the first prototype uh, for over 60 years, which is pretty, pretty cool. So I really love the small size too, more than I thought because it doesn't take up as much space on your back. And sometimes I won't even put it on my back. I'll just kind of like do a one shoulder kind of thing. But this one is great, especially when I travel with my kids to put in like snacks and drinks and not too much more. So this is what I do when we do, um, like if we were to go hiking or something like that, this is gonna have all of our snacks and drinks. Whereas the other can can I showed you is more for, you know, a binder, a laptop, stuff like that. So those are my two Swedish backpacks that I love. And then let me show you my latest addition to this collection. I am so glad. This is a backpack I have had my eye on, you guys, forever since like my high school days, which not to date myself, but that would have been like 1994. That's when I started high school. Or maybe it was 93. I don't know. But anyway, um, I would see this backpack on... Um, the backs of exchange students and I just thought they were the coolest backpacks ever and I was like mental note I want to get one of these someday <laughs> and I've literally been looking throughout my whole life strangely they were very difficult to find in fact I found absolutely nothing online for this type of backpack for years now I'm seeing more of them online but when my husband and I went to Italy for our honeymoon, I this is a, an Italian brand, I had to make sure that I asked if I could try to find this backpack. So the brand is called Invicta. They also make luxury watches, um, but they make these backpacks and um, they're Italian. And so when we went to Italy in 2011, I remember like asking our waiter and like asking store owners and stuff like, can you tell me if there's an Invicta store anywhere? And like, it's so weird. People like laughed because I was like, I'm looking for an Invicta backpack and they all like chuckled and giggled and I'm not sure why. I guess they were like, oh, goofy American, <laughs> whatever. So unfortunately on that trip, um, I did not find it. My uh, search was fruitless, but I have continued and I am grateful to say that now they have started to pop up on eBay and stuff like that. And what I've been interested in are the pieces that are, you know, vintage now from the 90s, at least some of them are from the 80s. I'm not sure about the age of this one. Let me just show you since I've talked it up so much, but here it is. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's so, it's so European to me. Like these bright colors are European. And you might look at this and think like, oh, a six-year-old girl is gonna carry this, but they were always carried by adults. And, and I feel like, well, maybe high schoolers too, but I feel like when I learned about Invicta, it was like, this was the backpack that you carried when you, you know, backpacked around Europe and you stayed in a hostel and this was the Italian backpack that everybody had. And I just, they were always bright colors and, and they were cool. And there's been other generations of backpacks that have since come out. The Invicta backpack website um, currently has some solid color ones. In fact, even Nordstrom is carrying like some of the newer versions, but I wanted the old classic with the really thick straps. Um, they're thinner now. Um, Anyway, this is the um, the Jolly Pro. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm just thrilled with this that I found it on eBay and I think it's in pretty good condition considering its age. These straps are so typical of, you know, Invicta. It was always the red, white, and blue straps. Of course, those have changed a little bit. Um, but yeah, great, great find, I think, on eBay. Um, couldn't be happier. It's, it's in very good condition for its age. So I am excited to take this out wherever I go. I'm not sure what the occasion will be if this backpack will lend itself more to 
uh, snacks when I go <laughs> hiking with the kids or if it will be more of a, um, you know, carry my binder and laptop kind of thing. It looks bigger though, so I think I will probably do that. But I finally have an Invicta backpack. Found this beauty on eBay um, and I, I just, I couldn't resist it. This color doesn't come up very often. So uh, when I saw it, I, I just, I got really excited. <laughs> so anyway, so that is my collection of uh, international backpacks, as it were. And um, yeah, I'm just really, really thankful for them. So, um, but if you're curious, this is the backpack I use pretty much all the time. This one right here, <laughs> okay? American L.L. Bean, <laughs> but it's so good. This is like the most classic backpack, right? Probably some of you have had something like this or something very similar. I love this one. This was um, another uh, Poshmark find. It was used, but it you know you barely know that it's used. It was in really great condition. And okay, so this is not international at all, like I said. But I just wanted to show you since I got all my backpacks out. Uh, well, I didn't get out all my backpacks. You know, I I'm a bag lady, so I have many more backpacks. <laughs> but um, this one is a is a good workhorse, and it kind of reminds me of these. I would say my other backpacks that are um, not in this category are made of either leather or like fake leather or vinyl and stuff like that, but maybe vinyl is not the right word. Um, I'm thinking of something else, but I can't, I can't think of it right now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any cool backpack brands that you want me to know about, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the little bell so you get notifications when I post a new video. Thanks very much guys. Bye. <laughs>